What's up guys, Arif here. I'm gonna show you today how to install a new theme plugin on your OBS to get just a little bit of a different look. Now, you're gonna to wanna to start by going to the OBS plugin site. That is a little bit cumbersome, so just Google OBS plugin, it'll take you to this URL, and then you're gonna to wanna to click on themes. Now you can see there's a bunch of themes here. There's YouTube -y and Twitchy and Mixy. Just pick your poison, YouTube -y is red, Mixy is like this blue offset highlight thing and then twitchy is purple and I like this one the best so I'm going to go with that. Now just go up to the top here and click download and once we install that to our downloads folder we're going to unzip the file and you're going to see there's one with fonts and one without fonts. Uh, this was totally up to you there's no real big difference except for well the font. Now, to install this, you need to go to your OBS directory. Most of you, this is installed in the C drive, and for some of you who don't have it installed on your C drive, just go to the drive where it is installed, and go to OBS Studio, and then you wanna go to the data folder, and you're just gonna drop it into the themes folder. And now, once you've dropped this unzipped Twitchy folder into the themes folder, take the .qss file and put it one, one folder up. So go back one folder, drop it here with all the other themes that you can see listed, and that's it. Close your OBS and reopen it. And once you do it, you just have to go to file and then settings and go to your theme and just switch the theme just like that. From dark theme to Twitch theme, it takes no time at all and it looks so, so much better. And the best part is too, with it being open source, you can even make your own themes. Just go into this QSS file and just see what they did. See how the code looks and once you're done with it, you can just go and work with it on your own. If you want to know how to open up the QSS file, just open it up in a notepad program. Notepad or notepad++, anything works. But guys, there you go. That is how you update the theme for your OBS. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe on this video. Remember, we're trying to get to 1,000 subs. We are making good progress now. So let's keep it going. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I've been Arif, and I'll see all of you on the next video. Bye.